Welcome back, Odoers. My name is Jose Ignacio. Today, we're going to look at work entries because work entries are how Odoo knows how many hours each employee worked, which is crucial for payroll. Hourly employees are paid based on time worked, so accurate work entry tracking is essential for correct payroll. Work entries also affect our salaried employees, even though their pay is not calculated based on worked hours. For these employees, work entries can impact their various time off balances. If they have incorrect work entries for sick time or vacation time, that will affect the respective time off balances. So whether an employee is salaried or hourly, correct work entries are crucial as part of our payroll processing. So follow me as we take a look at our work entries. Okay, so here I am on the main payroll dashboard. The first thing that you may notice is that several warnings appear. I can tell that a couple of these are related to work entries. And while I can click on a specific warning to view and resolve it, like see this two conflicts warning, let's take a look at this in a different way to resolve work entry conflicts. In the top menu over here, I'm going to select work entries. And then I'm going to select work entries once again, right there. Okay, I'm going to zoom out a little bit just so that we can see this. Okay, so in the top menu, you can kind of guess and see something a little bit closer to it. I can see that I have time off to defer based on this nice tan colored warning bar. And I also see a couple of work entry conflicts that are these gray bars over here. So let's fix this. And this happens to be for Junior Jones, one of the interns. All right, we're zoomed back in. Okay, so Junior is our newest carpentry intern, and he is supposed to work just 20 hours a week. I can tell this top gray bar is incorrect since it starts on April 4th and it does not end until April 7th. That's not possible. No one works four days in a row without any breaks. I'm gonna be honest with you, I think he accidentally forgot to sign out. And that's okay. He stood signed in the whole time. It happens, we all make mistakes. Okay, so that's actually not a problem. I'm gonna select edit right here and we can get started to resolve this. Okay, so this pop-up window tells me that there are two work entries for the same time, which is not allowed. And you can also see that right there with our nice little warning. I can see the from and to dates over here. And it looks like I was correct. He never signed out what appears to be on Friday, which is why when he signed in on Monday, it actually signed him out from Friday. So the duration shows me that he logged 69 hours, which is definitely incorrect. I'm actually just gonna click remove right there and then hit okay on this confirmation, just to remove it from the database altogether. So now that the conflicting work entry is gone, this dashboard is blank because of this default conflicting over here filter that we have. If I remove this filter, did you look at that? I could see every employee's work entries. So work entries with the tabbed corner happen to be the ones that you saw earlier are the ones that were validated and the others have not. And you can also assume that from the very first week that we have over here and then the others that haven't been. It's important to note, once a work entry is validated, you can't modify them. So I'm trying to be incredibly careful right now. And the colors also tell us different things. So the gray ones that we have over here, well, these happen to just be attendance work entries. While if we go to the month prior and we look at the ones over here, we have nice little purple ones, which are PTO. Let's go back over here to April. Okay, so since Junior's attendance records conflicted, let's just check and make sure everything was locked correctly for him. So I'm gonna type in Junior up here at the top. And at this point, we can only see his attendance records. And just as I thought, he forgot to lock his time for April 2nd over here. That's not a problem. I can add a work entry by clicking on this new button in the top left. Okay, not much is actually pre-populated here. So I think I'll click discard. And instead, I'm just going to click into the date field. We're going to click on April 2nd. Mm, look at that. I have this create attendance pop-up window with all of Junior's information populated on the left side. That's way less typing for me. So I need to adjust the dates and items that he worked on over here on the right side that we have. Junior only works four hours a day. So I'm gonna click into this from field that we have over here. Also realizing this picked the wrong date that we had. We're also gonna go back to the second and correct this. Let's just do his end time over here. All right. So for start time, we're gonna be working with military time and it is an option to just select it. We're gonna pick 1500 hours. Happens to be 3 p.m. 
All right, now that we have that one done, we can move on to this other one. Okay, so for end time over there, we're going to set this to field to 1900 hours, which is 7 p.m. And now we have the correct four hours right there. Ah, tells us exactly what we had. All right, so once we're done, we just hit save and close. And the work entry appears right there. We can even click it again if we wanted to see it. Perfect. Okay, now that the work entry conflicts are corrected, I need to fix this time off that we have to defer. Okay, so let's take a look at that. So I could click on this warning or I can click work entries up at the top, time off the reports. And this allows me to access all the time off issues that need to be addressed. Both of those happen to actually take you to the time off to defer dashboard. Okay, so here at Stealthywood, we process payroll a couple days before the pay period ends since we don't want our employees to wait for their paychecks. However, in rare cases, sometimes employees need to use time off for days that were already recorded and paid as a workday. Since we don't want to refund, recalculate, and reissue paychecks, we just log the time off for the following payslip. This way, all time off balances and payslip records are correct. All right, let's take a look at the details of this one over here. Okay. You can see that Betty needed to take some time off. It looks like she was sick with the flu. Interesting. Well then. She was probably too sick to enter the time off request before we process payroll because I can see this to defer to next pay slip state over here. Not a problem. I'm actually just going to click report to next month. And just like that, the pay slip state changes to computed in current pay slip because Odoo knows there's still time to add this to the current pay slips. If I want, I can change this to compute in next payslip and it will be calculated in the following payslip. Alrighty, next I need to regenerate the work entries for Betty since we just deferred some time off. So to do that, I'm going to go back to the work entries dashboard by selecting work entries and work entries. Alright, first I'm going to remove the default conflicting option. We're going to zoom out real quick and then back in just so we can have this nice and spacious. And now I need to type in Betty up at the top. All right, I only wanted her work entries and here we have them all. And they all happen to appear in gray, but I know that there should be some purple time off records for in our case, the 10th and 11th. So to fix that, I'm actually going to hit regenerate work entries button. So now here we have, what would you look at that? This pop-up window tells me I can't regenerate work entries that were already validated, which were from the first to the fourth. So I'm gonna adjust the from date that we have up at the top. And I'm going to select April 5th for that. I love it when it all comes together. All those red lines just disappeared. I'm going to regenerate work entries now. And would you notice something kind of cool ends up happening once we did that? All those gray boxes are now turned into purple. And her sick time is now logged properly. And that's it, folks. Today, we actually learned how to resolve work entry conflicts create new work entries, defer time off to a future payslip, and regenerate work entries. Stay tuned for our other payroll tutorials where we're going to dive into creating payslips and processing batches just to make sure all those employees are getting paid. Till next time, don't forget to sign in and sign out of your shifts.